you so much for being here. So uh, on my presentation today, I'm going to share with you uh, my research on how to um, either like technology in order to teach a student um, to make the digital story that reflect their understanding and their knowledge about culture that they have learned in class. Um, before I start my presentation, I have a question for you. So how can you learn a foreign culture? For example, I'm from Vietnam. And if you want to know about like Vietnam, what are you going to do? Yeah. Sure. That is the best way, right? Any other? Yeah, you can read the book. Anything else? Yeah, the internet, right. So that all kind of technology thing and all the traveling that make it so easy to like know about the cultures and like how people live and what like the system there, what is the difference between Vietnam and the USA, for example. So however, it's for the fact that um, in Vietnam, uh, when I was a student and also I observed my students as well, they have to go to class and learn about the culture and they have to actually learn by heart. For example, uh, we have the course for the third year student. Uh, it's a 10 week course where they are going to learn about USA, UK and Australia, which is like the three like biggest uh, English speaking country in the world. So to learn about the culture and institution about the three countries, they have to go to class and then they have to listen to what the teacher say and then try to remember it. Uh, so in my opinion, it's not the way that you can learn the cultures. Of course, nowadays it's just so much easier when they just Google the information and they have everything that they want. Um, so um, I'm going to tell you why I, I did the research. So I went to the technology class here at Marymount with Dr. Langren, and I was so inspired by the Google um, site and the Edmodo program, which is the two um, technology thing that I've learned in class and I like want to apply like right away with my student back home all the way in Vietnam. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the system, um, education system in Vietnam. Um, so I'm the teachers at the university um, and my students, they, um, they have the first two years study the skill like reading, writing, listening and um, uh, listening and reading, right? <laughs> um, and then for the third year, they are going to discover more about the cultures, literature, um, um, and much more about the language. Um, and then in the fourth year, they are going to study translation and interpretation. So this is the course that they are going to take as a third year student at the university. Um, so um, when I took the class with Dr. Langren. I think that like all the technology that I learned would be like hand-on activity that I can apply right away for myself. Even I'm not the tech savvy at all. And I'm sure that my student, they probably will be better than me with technology. So I developed a course. Um, it's an additional section for the 10 weeks course back home. And they are going to log on to the Google site, which is a website that I developed. Um, and then have the material on how to make the digital story. And then use the Edmodo uh, as the communication uh, tool. So I, I had the two survey for 24 students at intermediate level at uh, my university. And I asked them about their perception of using the tool, whether they know that these two exist. And so the findings show that when I add uh, this section into the course, they have better understanding about the culture. And also they can make the this is a story that reflect their understanding um, and their knowledge about the culture. So that is why I did the research. Um, so for um, what I did that, um, so the course is like 10 weeks and this session is only six weeks of the class because in the first four weeks, the um, uh, as a teacher back home, she had to like prepare and also introduce uh, what I'm going to do with the class. So um, I need to prepare the material in the Google site 
Um, so in the site, I have like step by step on how to develop your digital story. So this is the site that I did. And you click on the class announcement. So like how to make the digital story, uh, how to add the image, um, how to use the Edmodo, how to write the script, the storyboard, um, and like the process of making the digital story. Um, and then the Edmodo is a communication tool that uh, me and the student back home going to communicate um, they are going to send me the idea and I'm going to send them the feedback. So I'm going to show you um, one of the reflections. So here's the communication tool, as you can see. So all the things that they upload in here and also me um, uploading here will be safe and they can open whenever they want to. So this is one of the things. They will send me the, the name of the topic that they are going to make the digital story with. And I'm going to give them the feedback right here. Um, for example, they want to um, know about the story of jazz in the US. But it will be like the why the big topic that they, and also for the digital story, it's more like you telling your story rather than, you know, like the big thing that you can Google everywhere. So I asked them to do the research on it and then like find one person that would inspire them and put, like tell the story of the person. And this is what the student did. I'm going to show you what the student did later. Um, and also, I introduced uh, to them uh, many tools that they can make the digital story. And one of the things that really cool, that I really like it, which is uh, called the uh, Screen Task Omatic. Sorry, uh, which is like um, how you can, you know, like uh, save and record what you say on the screen of the thing, and you don't have to use the program on the computer. So it's quite. This is the instruction on how to use a tool. So this is the website that's going to offer you the tool. So it's going to open, um, which is a screen, like this. And then you can move around, and then it will record your voice as you talk as well. And also, you can edit um, the video and everything. Um, and you don't have to download anything, it's just there. So it's easy and it's available. Uh, all you have to do is just have the internet with you. So this is the three things that I introduced to my student and they have to, um, like every week, they have to log on to the Google site and looking for the material, the information that they need and they are going to develop the story for you on that. So this is some of the student work sample, which is, this is the, the idea and also my feedback for them. And this is a script that I developed um, for the digital story. This is one of the things, uh, and I told you before, when they talk about like, they want to talk about jazz in the USA. And then I told them that um, you should find out one person that inspired you. So they did the digital story about Louis Armstrong. Sorry, probably I got the wrong link, but yeah. So um, they also study about the culture and then one part of the culture would be the food. And this is a digital story about American apple pie. Like what is the like, history of the American apple pie? Thank you. 
single point of vision and center. Eyes are the ultimate point of inspiration. The sky refreshing day with the eyes. Look at the windows closed. This action is going to be like a It's because saturation is in the age of American psychologists and of similar approach to creation. After Americans are Just, it's just a part of it. So this is a result. Uh, so I, I, so the class had 24 students, and they were divided into six groups. So there are four students that are going to make one Jesus story. So they have to work in group, uh, looking at the material and develop the idea, and of course make the Jesus story. So they have to record their voice and so also like uh, make the video and everything. So by the end of the session, I have like six um, video like this that um, show their understanding and their research on like one aspect of like USA, UK and Australia cultures. Um, so for the results, um, I have two surveys for the students who ask um, about whether they're com comfortable with the technology and um, whether they know about Google site and Edmodo. And also that uh, the second one will be uh, their feedback on the session whether it like uh, met the ex expectation and so on. So for the first um, survey, I asked for the expectation for the course. So they uh, want to know some practical computer or IT skill and learn some tech trick for their devices. Because like in Vietnam, I observed that the students, they all have the smartphone, they have laptop, they have desktop at home. And also the internet there is so cheap and available everywhere. So they can access the internet at home uh, in the library of the school. Also, they have 3G, um, which is the data plan, like everywhere for the very cheap price. Like compared to the US dollar, it's just like uh, $3 for one month. It's very, very cheap. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, they hope that the subject will, make, will be more understandable and more interesting for them. Um, so this is the result for the Edmodo. Um, this is actually the thing that they did not enjoy because it's not very popular as Facebook as communication tool. They would prefer Facebook instead of this one. Um, they say that it's easy to assess, but it's not, um, you know, like um, appealing to them. And also um, the second one is the good side. They would enjoy this one, and you can see. The blue one will be the, for the first survey, and the red one will be for the uh, second survey. So um, most of them will be 
comfortable and very comfortable with the Google site. Um, they say that it would be easy to, the instruction in the Google site is easy to understand and follow, very informative, a little bit long, but it's easy to assess as well. Um, so um, they say that the, the session it met the expectation, it's interesting. Um, they can acquire some of the skills such as like uh, communication, uh, computer skill, and also like making videos of story and so on. Uh, however, they still have a problem with, um, you know, the time consuming to make the story and also the workload that they have to cover both with, um, the lesson um, like in class and also the online uh, part. Um, also, the other thing that my instruction is just the online one and the teacher back home, she could not help me with the instruction because she's not sure about the program herself. Um, so that is a problem that I'm going to look uh, into in the futures. And also I'm going to compare um, the Facebook instruction with the distant learning and to see the difference between the two and how it affects the understanding of the student. To do this. So thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, please. I have like um, like on the Google side, it have the session on how to log on and how to use the app model. That is a yeah, yeah. They have to like look into that by themselves, and like I won't be available for questions. But they actually don't like it. They didn't like it at all because like Facebook is the thing that's very popular. Even with me, they connect with me by Facebook, so they just like drop me the question on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And also, like, um, and I learned that uh, some of my some class that I have taught before, they have the Facebook for the whole class. So everything, every question that they put in there, even with the reason story, they just put in there, and then people in, come in and comment for that. So. Um, I, I don't think that would be a kind of popular, um, like I, we don't have like online courses um, within the University of Vietnam. Uh, so it's more like face-to-face -face with instruction and everything. Yeah. So this is one of the things that I try. And probably w I will uh, propose to my department when I return home. Yeah. Because like nowadays they, it, it's so easy and they have like all the devices and the internet, so why not make it more interactive to them to learn? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.